as an independent reporting platform and while the transition to STP is still ongoing for some businesses, Guff Reports offers two options for end-of-year payroll reporting including via single-touch payroll and PAYG payment summary for businesses that have yet transitioned to STP. Under the changed STP environment, employers will not need to finalize the payroll and issue PAYG payment summary to employees as they have to in the past years. To finalize payroll events, log into GUF Reports. Go to My Business from the left side menu bar. Select the business name and select Forms under Actions. Select STP Payroll Events from Forms. End of financial year payroll reporting is done in the last payroll event when you lodge, or as an update event if the year-end final STP report has already been lodged. End of financial year payroll reporting in the last payroll event is done in the STP payroll event form by entering the reporting information as per usual for the period. In the employees section and as usual, roll over the employees from previous pay run, or import, or manually enter the employees details with their year to date figures including what they get paid on this pay run period, on all relevant payroll fields applicable to each employee. To finalize the payroll and declare the end of financial year pay runs for reporting, tick to select all the employee records and mark to confirm as final event indicator. Follow the prompts to confirm and proceed with the final event indicator marking process. You can then proceed to lodgement. If you previously have used GUF reports to report STP, rollover employees details can save you time of entering the employees details again. In the employees section, the rollover button will list out the previously lodged STP reports for you to select which STP report to be rollovered from. Note here, as some businesses may pay their staff a different time and rate. Maybe an employee was a casual or part-time and may or may not be on the pay run at the certain reporting period. Update, the pay period on the rollover window to confirm the new pay period. The employee's details from the previous lodged STP report will be brought across under the employee's section with just the basic employee information like address, TFN, etc. As GUF Reports is the reporting platform that is this is not the payroll software, no calculation is performed nor payroll information is managed here and employees pay and benefits must be recorded elsewhere. Only wages or salary paid, year to date must be reported including wages paid for this pay period. To enter the updated salary paid year to date, click on edit under action tab of each employee. Enter the year-to-date gross wage payment, PAYG amount, allowance and super entitlement amount, and any other applicable and relevant payments during the year for the employee in question. Save the changes. Once all employees' year-to-date pay details are filled and saved, tick the checkbox to select each of the employee entry. Apply and click Final Event Indicator. Follow the prompts to confirm and update. Proceed to lodgement. If you already have reported the last pay run as STP for the business without marking and applying as the final event indicator, you can now do an update event to apply the final event indicator. Go to My Lodgement's History. Select and open the Lodge the STP report of the final pay run for the financial year. On the top right corner, under More, three horizontal lines, select Update Event. To make changes to the already lodged STP report. Follow the prompts to confirm updating changes to the already lodged STP report which will then move the already lodged STP report back onto the saved report status and you can now make corrections. The STP payroll events form opens with previously lodged payroll details sent to ATO. The reporting info should be the same as previously lodged report. Note, the total gross payments and total PAYGW amount cannot be edited in an update event. If you want to make more changes and including payment amounts, then full file replacement would be a better option. In the employees section, tick and select the employee entries and mark the final event indicator. 
In the save and lodge section, make sure that the update event checkbox is ticked. Proceed to lodgement, GUF reports as a reporting software will be good for business who are closely held entities, small businesses with flexible payroll requirements, businesses that manage their payroll on non-STP compliant or desktop software and those who require flexible STP payroll.